Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. And uh, tonight's Raw was from Des Moines, Iowa, from the Wells Fargo Arena. And uh, if you haven't checked out my previous video that, that I uploaded earlier, uh, I talked about uh, the Super Bowl movie spots uh, that aired uh, last night. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, my previous video, please go uh, check it out. I talk about and give my thoughts on what I thought of uh, the movie spots uh, that I talked about that they showed. So check that out if you haven't seen it. But uh, I thought tonight's Raw, I thought it was okay. Uh, wasn't, you know, wasn't a good show by any means. Uh, I have to say uh, last week's Raw was uh, much better. But uh, for me, tonight's Raw was just okay. So, but uh, the show opened up with Bray Wyatt, uh, you know, coming on, you know, saying the Elimination Chamber is upon us. And he goes on to say, you know, last year he won the WWE title. And, you know, tonight he will face Roman. Uh, Roman Reigns gets on and says, you know, to Bray that he thinks Bray is a failure. And he says, you know, he has he has his fair chances of ups and downs. You know, Roman has his fair chances of up of ups and downs. And Roman says that his journey to WrestleMania starts tonight. Uh, first, he will go into the Elimination Chamber, and then he will go on to face he will go on to WrestleMania to face uh, Brock Lesnar and become Universal Champion. And so that pretty much uh, start. You know, Raw started off uh, with that because it started off with the first match tonight. Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, it was a decent uh, match. It was back and forth between them. And, uh, you know, this was a qualifying match uh, for the Elimination Chamber. So whoever wins gets to uh, go, in, go, into the, go into the Elimination uh, Chamber match. And... Uh, it was just back and forth between uh, Roman and Bray. Uh, Roman uh, Roman won the match uh, with the spear to Bray uh, to score the win, which was kind of obvious. Uh, you know, Roman went in it uh, because Bray Wyatt's still in his feud uh, with Matt Hardy, so it was pretty obvious that Roman was winning the match. And this is probably going to lead to, of course, uh, everybody's predicting it, uh, including me. Roman went Re Roman Reigns. Uh, Possibly win the uh, Elimination Chamber and going on to WrestleMania uh, to face Brock Lesnar. And Lesnar's going to drop the Universal title to Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns is going to walk out of WrestleMania with the uh, Universal title. You know, he'll be the new Universal Champion. So I know WWE, this WWE is planning uh, to do that. And all of us are, pre are predicting it. So... But uh, all in all, Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt, it was a decent match. Uh, wasn't, you know, slow uh, or boring by any means. It was uh, entertaining, though. So, And then uh, after that, uh, we saw uh, Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins backstage. Uh, Jason Jordan uh, has to get a neck surgery, and he's going to be out of the ring for a year. Uh, but I guess you know he could still he could still appear on TV. Uh, not not so sure, but reports are saying reports are saying uh, like I said that he's going to be out for a year uh, because of that because of uh, that neck because of getting neck surgery. So uh, the both of them are backstage. Uh, Seth Rollins says to Jason Jordan that uh, this is the last time. Uh, they get a chance at facing uh, the bar, you know, Cesaro and Sheamus for the uh, Raw Tag Team titles. And Jason ends up saying to Seth that uh, he is cleared by the doctors and that he's ready to go on, uh, you know, tag team and him in this match. And uh, Seth says uh, for both him and Jason to go out there and take back the uh, the tag team titles. So 
So it was just a little backstage segment with uh, them both. And then we have uh, the second match tonight. Uh, it was Carl Anderson and Finn Balor versus The Revival. Uh, before the match, uh, even Star of The Revival ended up coming out and saying that they are tag team specialists. And that tonight, you know, they're going to make uh, the match, you know, this match a tag team match. Uh, what Scott Dawson ends up saying. And Dash Wilder ends up saying, you know, Finn, uh, why don't you uh, pick... One of, you know, why don't you pick Carl Anderson or Luke Gallows uh, to face us, you know, to face, the, you know, the revival in the match. And so Finn ends up choosing Carl Anderson uh, for, you know, his tag team partner. And uh, the match itself, it was decent, uh, was uh, back and forth between them. Uh, you know, the revival uh, was going you know, was going at it with Anderson and Balor. Uh, the Revival has been, uh, you know, it's one of my favorite uh, tag teams. Uh, they're good in the ring. Sorry about that, but I was saying uh, the Revival uh, was one of my favorite tag teams. Uh, they did uh, pretty decent in the match. Uh, but uh, Carl Anderson and Finn Balor ended up winning the match. Uh, Balor ended up hitting the, uh, the coup de gras on Scott Dawson to score the win. So... But uh, all in all, uh, it was a decent uh, match uh, between uh, Carl Anderson, Finn Balor, and the Revival. It was a decent tag team match. And then we saw uh, Sasha and Bailey, Sasha Banks and Bailey backstage. Sasha was, you know, watching uh, her match from last week uh, against Asuka, uh, which she ended up losing. Uh, Sasha, you know, of course, was uh, disappointed that she didn't uh, beat Asuka and ended her uh, ended her under her undefeated streak, which is still going. And uh, you know, Sasha says, you know, she wants to go on to WrestleMania. And uh, Bailey was like, "Oh yeah, I could beat you, and then you know, I could beat Asuka also." And that kind of uh, set. You know, that kind of look on Sasha's face, like, you know, like a really, you know, pissed off kind of look. Uh, which, you know, Sasha, you know, might be turning heel. Uh, might turn heel on Bailey uh, at some point, but who knows. But it's been, you know, talks now that, you know, that they're trying to turn, you know, Sasha heel uh, once again. But it was just that little backstage uh, segment with Sasha and Bailey. And then we had uh, a cruiserweight uh, tag team match: Cedric Alexandra and Mustafa Ali versus Drew Gulak and Tony Nese. Uh, once again, uh, we had uh, the new 205 Live uh, general manager on commentary. Uh, his name was uh, his name is Drake Drake Maverick, and I'm like, you know, they introduced him last week. As the uh, the new general manager, I'm like, does 205 Live really need uh, a general manager? But uh, yeah, but that's his, that's his name, uh, Drake Maverick, and uh, he he was known in TNA from what I heard, uh, Rockstar Spud. So so yeah, so yeah, another guy from TNA and uh, WWE, but as a uh, a general manager. But uh, he was on commentary through this match. And uh, the match itself, you know, we've seen it before. Uh, the crowd was pretty much dead during this match. Uh, the crowd didn't really uh, care for uh, didn't really care for it. Uh, Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali got the win. Uh, with uh, Cedric Kennedy, Lombard check on uh, Drew Gulak to score the win. And I'm like, how many times has... Uh, Cedric hit the lumbar check on Gulak. Uh, plenty, plenty of times, though. I've, I've lost count on how many times uh, Cedric uh, hit Gulak with the uh, with the lumbar check. It's been uh, awfully a uh, few times. <clears throat> so, but uh, yeah, it was just typical cruiserweight tag match. We saw it before. Uh, 
wasn't wasn't that good of a match. I mean, Cedric is getting you know hot. You know, Cedric's getting hot with uh, some of the crowd there, and uh, he's my pick to win uh, the cruiserweight title at uh, WrestleMania because on 205 Live, uh, General Manager uh, Drake Maverick. Uh, he announced a 16-man uh, a cruiserweight championship tournament uh, it will, that will culminate at WrestleMania 34. Uh, and I really do hope you know Cedric wins the cruiserweight title at uh, WrestleMania 34 because uh, he really deserves it. Uh, one of my one of my favorites on the uh, on the cruiserweight division. You know, I said it, I've said it before. Then we had uh, Kurt Angle end up coming out, you know, saying history was made, you know, was made about with the Women's Rumble and, you know, that the women are going to make history again, you know, which uh, Stephanie McMahon said that, you know, Alexa Bliss will put the uh, Raw Women's title on the line in the first ever Women's Chamber match. And then uh, Kurt then introduced the competitors who are going to be in the uh in the women's elimination chamber match, you know we got Alexa Bliss, uh, Bailey, uh, Mandy Rose, Mickey James, Sonya Deville, and Sasha Banks. So those, uh, so those six competitors are going to be in the uh, first ever women's elimination chamber match. And you know he says, also Kurt says, you know he has a match with he, he has a match for Nia, and you know, it'll be at a at elimination chamber. It's going to be Nia versus Asuka, and he goes on to mention that if Nia wins the match, she will be added to uh, the match at WrestleMania, and then it will be a triple threat at WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Title. So, hopefully, you know Nia wins the match because I think she deserves to uh, win the uh, Raw Women's Title. Uh, think she would make a good uh, women's champion, uh, Nia Jax. And then we have uh, Alexa Bliss come out, and she says to Kurt that you know what he is doing is wrong and unjust. And she goes on to say that his decision is against company policy. And she, she Alexa ends up going on to say that Kurt must uh, validate Lesnar, you know, like you know. Lesnar more uh, because you know she you know that Kurt must you know like Lesnar more than her and you know she thinks that's sexist uh, because uh, because Kurt is favoring you know Lesnar more than you know the men more than you know the woman and Kurt ends up saying to the crowd you know does does you know they, do they want to see Alexa put the title on the line in the women's chamber and the crowd just starts chanting you know yes and you know a loud chants though but you know this it was kind of a it's kind of true you know what Alexa is saying you know because you know Kurt's given you know Lesnar you know opportunities and not you know and not her you know not the woman so. So like Kurt is favoring you know the men more. So but you know it was actually kind of making sense you know to Alexa you know what Alexa was saying in the way. So but it was a good it was a good segment uh, with uh, Alexa and Kurt Angle. Uh, really uh, liked it. And then we had Oscar versus Bailey. Uh, this match was was pretty was pretty terrible. Uh, I'm a Bailey fan, and you know, every everyone probably knows that who watches my videos. Uh, but you know, I'm a Bailey fan, and you know, her being booked in these uh, types of matches and losing uh, a lot of them and jobbing, it's just <laughs> Bailey deserves a whole lot better. And uh, this this match was just was just flat out terrible. Uh, coming off of uh, Oscar versus Sasha last week, which was uh, possibly you know the best match of the night, 
uh, last week on Raw. And then we go from that to this. And it was just it was just terrible, like I said. It was slow. Uh, the crowd didn't really care for this match. Also, the crowd was silent during it. But as usual, Asuka wins with the Asuka lock. Bailey ends up tapping out uh, to, to the Asuka lock. So, once again, Asuka wins a match. So, but, all in all, it was, just, it was just a terrible match. It was a pretty shitty match. And then we had uh, The Miz versus Apollo Crews. Uh, the winner gets to qualify for the Elimination Chamber match. And uh, The Miz ends up coming out. Uh, says that 2018 is the year for him. And he goes on to say he defeated Roman Reigns at Raw 25. And he said that, you know, it was the highest rated Raw in three years. And it was all thanks to him. And, you know, he goes on to say that he beat Roman last week. Again. And he ends up going on to say that Roman couldn't contend with the momentum that, you know, that Miz has. And Miz goes on to say that when his daughter is born, uh, she will witness uh, him being a dual champion, you know, still having the Intercontinental title and win the Universal title, you know, if he, if Miz wins the Elimination Chamber match. So he cuts that, he cuts that, uh, that promo. And then we get on to the match, uh, the Miz versus Apollo Crews, and, uh, this was, you know, decent match uh, from uh, both of them. Apollo Crews, uh, you know, making his moves in the match. Uh, but in the end, Miz ends up winning the match. Uh, he hits the skull crushing finale on Apollo Crews uh, to score the win. So Miz uh, is now qualified. The Miz, you know, is now in the Elimination Chamber match. So, but. All in all, it was a decent match. And then we saw, uh, you know, Jason Jordan uh, says to Seth that, you know, he can't compete tonight. And Seth says, you know, to Kurt, you know, what is he going to do? Because uh, Jason says, you know, Jason said, you know, he couldn't compete because he checked with the doctors and everything. And this is just, you know, writing him, possibly writing him out. Uh, you know, because he's having the neck surgery and he's going to be out for a year. But uh, I don't know if they're still going to keep him on TV. Uh, who knows? Uh, you know, not let him compete in the ring. And uh, Roman ends up coming out of the locker room. And so Roman ends up taking uh, Jason, uh, ends up taking Jason's spot. So it was pretty much that. And it led to uh, the match with ha which happened next. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. This was for the uh, the Raw Tag Team titles. And this match was pretty good. Uh, it was back and forth between them. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus uh, were, were good. Uh, Seth and Roman uh, was, uh, pretty, was pretty cool to see. Uh, of course, uh, we had... Later on in the match, Jason Jordan ends up coming out, you know, just trying to help Seth. And, uh, you know, at one point, you know, Cesaro and Sheamus, you know, were going to walk out and, you know, not finish the match. Uh, they ended up taking their, uh, their tag team titles and walk in. Uh, and then Jason Jordan ended up stopping them. And it just led to the match uh, being uh, a disqualification. Uh, because Jason ended up st struck in uh, Cesaro and also Sheamus. And so Cesaro and Sheamus won wins the match by disqualification. And they still retain the Raw Tag Team titles. Which kind of, uh, which you know, Ro I'm like, why would Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns win the Raw Tag Team titles when Roman is in the Elimination Chamber? I'm like, doesn't make any sense. And then when uh, Raw came back from commercial, we saw Seth arguing with Jason Jordan backstage. You know, S Seth says, you know, he's sorry, you know, he didn't hurt, uh, he didn't hurt 
Jason. Uh, after that, for, for Jason causing uh, a disqualification for their match. And uh, Kurt ends up telling uh, Jason to go home and stay home. And, you know, you see Kurt, Kurt was really uh, pissed off about that. Of what, you know, Jason did out there. So, and we had, uh, after that we had Nia Jax versus uh, some jobber uh, in the ring. It was pretty much a squash match. Nothing, uh, nothing great. Crowd was dead for this also. So Nia Jax ends up winning the match. And after the match, Renee interviews her about going into a match uh, with Asuka at Elimination Chamber. And, you know, she wins. Uh, she gets to go to WrestleMania and be in a triple threat match uh, for the Royal Women's title. Nia says Asuka does not fear her. And that, you know, Nia is going to mess, uh, is going to mess Asuka up so bad. And she ends up going to say that when she's done, Asuka is going to be the Empress of Yesterday. And then she just ends up, you know, walking out of the ring. Uh, pretty uh, decent interview from Naya. Uh, really like to see her uh, go to WrestleMania and uh, have a, and, you know, have, you know, a triple threat match with, uh, with them for the, uh, the Raw Women's title. Next, we had uh, Mickey James versus Sonya Deville. We had Mandy Rose and uh, Paige uh, at ringside, and the match itself wasn't wasn't good by any means. It was typical women's match. The crowd uh, really didn't care for this match. Also, they were quiet during this. But uh, we had uh, Mickey hit uh, Sonya with a right arm, and it kind of you know maybe broke. Uh, Sonya possibly broke Sonya's nose, but uh, Mickey James ended up uh, rolling up Sonya Deville, so Mickey James wins the match. Then we had after the match, Absolution ends up being up on Mickey, and for some reason Alexa Alexa Bliss ends up coming out, and she saves Mickey. Um, like, why is Alexa doing this? It it, it just it's just it was just pretty random, uh, as you would put it. But uh, Mickey James and Sonya Deville was a typical women's match. It wasn't uh, that good of a match, and the crowd was silent during it. Then we had the main event. Uh, it was a triple threat match. Uh, Elias versus John Cena and Braun Strowman. Uh, the winner gets to enter... You know, the Elimination Chamber last. And uh, Elias was out, of course. You know, saying he's going to win the Chamber. And, you know, he says he's going to give the crowd the best performance at WrestleMania. Then he just starts singing about, you know, saying, oh, Lesnar, about how Lesnar fears him. It was pretty much that. It was pretty boring as usual. And the main event... Uh, happened and it was a good main event. Uh, you had uh, Cena uh, and Elias, both of them uh, trying to take out Braun Strowman. Uh, you had Elias hit Strowman uh, with the guitar, and then we we saw Cena end up pin uh, the AA on Braun Strowman on the steps outside, and uh, pretty much, you know, Braun Strowman ended up getting back up. Uh, you know, after being outside of the ring, uh, ends up taking out uh, Cena, and it gave Elias, you know, a chance to pull off uh, to pull off Strowman, and you know, and then Elias got the win. So Elias is now heading into the Elimination Chamber. And then we had after the match, uh, Braun Strowman. Ended up hitting running power slams on Elias and Cena. And the crowd was just chanting for Strowman to, you know, to do more. To do more running power slams on the both of them. And so that's what Strowman did. And uh, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. 
It was pretty awesome. And that pretty much ended Raw with uh, Strowman hitting uh, running power slams on both Elias and Cena. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. Uh, thank you all for watching, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all back here tomorrow night for my SmackDown review. And also, at the end of the SmackDown review, I'm going to review the uh, Mixed Match Challenge uh, for this week. So, until that video, I'll see you all back here tomorrow night.